Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story. Jerusalem is on high alert ahead of the Israeli flag march that is set to take place later today. The march sparked warnings of a new escalation from Palestinians in the region. The annual march celebrates the city's unification following the capture of East Jerusalem in 1967. Ahead of the march, violence is now being reported at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Israeli police force has released videos of crowds rioting and pelting stones. According to reports, a small group of rioters have barricaded themselves inside the mosque. The gathered crowds are hurling large rocks at the Israeli police stationed outside. Authorities have confirmed that the police are at the site and trying to bring the situation under control. The rioting started shortly after the morning prayers. According to reports, the rest of the areas remain calm. Earlier, Israeli security forces had warned that rioters may barricade Al-Aqsa ahead of the march. And earlier in the week, Palestinian Islamist movement Hamas has categorically warned against the march passing through the Al-Aqsa mosque compound, adding that it would use the opportunity to confront the marches. Ghazi Hamad, a member of the Islamist group's political bureau, said that they will not hesitate to use all means to stop the incursion of their holy places and called on Palestinians to gather at Al-Aqsa to disrupt the march. However, different factions in Palestine are yet to decide how they want to tackle the march. Smaller factions are favoring the use of rockets. Hamas, on the other hand, is not in favor of firing rockets to shake the march. The marches are expected to enter the old city via Damascus Gate before making their way to the Western Wall. The gate is heavily used by Palestinians. However, Israeli authorities have not approved requests to enter the Al-Aqsa compound. Historically, the path of the march has never included Al-Aqsa. The Israeli flag march threatens to worsen weeks of tensions between Israelis and Palestinians. Around 3,000 policemen are said to be deployed ahead of the march to prevent the situation from getting out of control. Last year, the clashes surrounding the march led to an 11-day conflict after Hamas fired rockets at Israelis. The war cost the lives of 260 Palestinians, including 66 children, while 14 people were killed in Israel, including one child. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by our correspondent Jody Cohen from Jerusalem. Hello to you, Jody. What can you tell us about the violence that broke out outside the Al-Aqsa earlier today? Hi, Alison. Well, as you have said, there was a small group of rioters who barricaded themselves into Al-Aqsa Mosque. They were throwing large rocks at the police. That's according to the Israel police. The Temple Mount after that was calm and non-Muslim visitors, including tourists, and Jewish people visited the Temple Mount as they usually do during designated hours. As you can see, I've been joined by some of the people who are getting ready here for the uh, celebrations later. Right. And Jody, last year, we know that uh, the clashes surrounding the march led to an 11 day conflict after Hamas fired rockets at Israel. We know that Hamas this year is not uh, keen on using rockets. What are you observing on the ground? So from what we've heard, there's a split between Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad, uh, with uh, one group wanting to fire rockets, allegedly, and the other not. We're also hearing potentially about 
the you know the possibility of rocket fire from Lebanon, but right now it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I mean, Hamas is talking about Israel um, invading Al Aqsa and using very strong language like that. The Israeli police and the Israeli government are very clear that the flag parade later on today will not be going onto the Temple Mount. Will be going in the places that Israelis and Jewish people are always allowed to visit, which is. Um, all parts of Jerusalem, the Muslim quarter as well, in order to get to the Western Wall and continue the celebrations there. Jerusalem Day, of course, being very important, signifying the reunification of Jerusalem in 1967. Jody, thank you very much for bringing us all the latest details. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.